Hello and welcome to this 30 minute cardio HIIT workout which is beginner friendly to help you burn fat and get fit. You're going to absolutely love this workout. I cannot wait to do it with you. But before we get started, I just want to say thank you so much and well done to everyone who is in my app, in my app community, sharing their progress, doing my workouts, following my plans. So well done. Keep going. I'm watching all of your updates and it makes me so happy to see you get results every single day. And if you're not currently using my app, then make sure you give it a download and have some fun with it and I'll see you there. But for now, let's get started in the workout. Okay, let's start in a warm up on your hands and knees in a cat cow position. From all fours, drop your belly, elevate your chest, look forwards and take nice deep breaths, rounding your spine, pull your belly in, big stretch, dropping your chin. Move between those two positions in your own time with your breath. We're going to take a five minute warm up, 45 seconds on six exercises to get fully stretched, mobilized and activated, ready for these cardio exercises. You can move freely, however you like to stretch through the spine. And come to the neutral all fours position into a bird dog. So lift one arm and opposite leg, pause at the top, and then slowly come down at the same time, switch arm, switch leg, opposite sides. Engage in the core, stabilize in the hips and squeeze your glutes as you kick that heel up. But keep a nice long spine. Don't arch in the lower back, create that length and stability. Okay, let's come to a downward dog. So hands on the floor, tuck under the toes, lift yourself up and find a nice position where you can bend the knees, push the heels down into the floor, push away from your hands, lengthening through the ankles, calves, hamstrings. You can move or keep it still up to you, whatever feels good as we start to stretch off and move the body. Okay, from here, come forwards to plank and step one foot up outside your hand. Stay here in this climber position and then lift the same arm up that the leg is on and rotate that upper body. Come back down, face the ground and rotate again. Working on that hip stretch and mobility whilst also rotating through the spine. Stay here for the next 12 seconds. Allow this front knee to push forwards to get that ankle mobilized as well. Three, two, one, step back and switch legs. Same on the other side. Get that position, opening up these hip flexors as well, and then rotate. If this is difficult, you can drop the back knee on the floor as well. Keep breathing, lifting those fingers up to the ceiling. Three, two, one. Final 45 seconds into a bridge position. Lay on your back, feet on the ground, hands on the ground, shoulders back, lift your hips up and slowly down to the ground. Lifting up and down, engaging in the hamstrings at the back of your legs and your glute muscles in your bum and the lower back. Final exercise here. So last few reps before we start the main circuit. Okay. 
lifting those hips up. Well done, okay, awesome. So hopefully you feel warm, activated, mobilized, switching the timer to 40 seconds work and 20 seconds rest on six exercises. First exercise we're gonna start with is jogging on the spot. Nice and simple, using your arms, using your le legs, nice soft landing. If you need some low impact options, then marching is fine. Are you ready? Exercise one, in three, two, one, here we go. First set, first exercise, we're in. So nice soft landing in the ankles, toes. You can start easy, knowing that we're gonna build the intensity up as you get more tired in the next few sets. But during this workout, to get the most benefits in cardiovascular fitness, and health and of course burning calories to help you burn fat it's important to get the heart rate up and work hard good okay get a 20 second rest and we always get that 20 second rest after each exercise so you can recover and i can demonstrate the next exercise we're in jumping jack next hopping out to the side arms coming up to shoulder height and back in are you ready low impact version stepping out to the side if you need it let's go Fifteen seconds left and set yourself the challenge in this workout to keep going. Even if you need to make it easier, always just keep moving whatever you need to do to take breaths and push through and rest. Well done. Recover 20 seconds. We're going to move it into a side shuffle. So from one side, just shuffling to one side, stabilize, bend a little bit and push back. Depending on how much space you have, it might be a few steps like me, or it might just be one step. Let's go, 40 seconds, we're in. And if you've got lots of space, then it might be really far. Four or five steps, but it's up to you. So we're not only getting fit, we're also becoming functional, moving the body in different ways, becoming more athletic. And most of these exercises are of course cardio exercise and not really working on strength but we have elements of strength training here of course using the legs quite a lot five seconds well done breathe recover and we take it into hops so like you'd have a skipping rope and skipping we're just going to go for hopping on the spot if you need low impact, take it to marching like we would have done in the first exercise too. Get ready in three seconds. Here we go. Relax the shoulders, core engaged, hips nice and stable. Building strength also in the ankles and calves here. Keep breathing, keep going. Anytime it gets too tough, back to marching. 10 seconds. Good, well done. Can you feel the heat in the body? It's coming. Let's take it now to a squat punch. So get in a nice strong squat position. Feet about hip width or a bit wider. Out turn the toes a tiny bit. Arms up here like you're gonna punch. Little squat and punch. Alternate the arms. Let's go. 40 seconds, squat punch. Take your time, find rhythm. Whatever speed that is, good quality squats. Doesn't need to be the lowest squats you've ever done. Just bend with good technique, lift up and punch.
chest up, good posture. Stretch, hand rest, well done. Breathe, recover, we have one exercise left. We're gonna take it to a walkout and jump if you like. So from the edge of your mat or your space, bend down, walk out, core strong, flat plank, walk it back, you can either stand or jump and go again. Here we go, 40 seconds. Walk it out, core strong, walk it back with control, stand or jump. So a bit of upper body work, a bit of core work, and of course, flexibility as well. If you are a beginner, it's really important, and even if you're not a beginner, to make sure that you can get up and down off the ground easily and safely. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest, 20 seconds. So, they are the six exercises. We're going straight into round two from the top for three sets, okay? Back to jogging or marching. Get ready. Two, one, we're in, jogging, let's go. So, those six exercises, three sets, you know what's ahead now, with a little finisher at the end. <laughs> and it's up to you with the intensity. You can keep it an easier day and just get the heart rate up, or you can really push yourself and challenge yourself. That's the great thing about body weight training, is you're in control of the intensity. 10 seconds. And rest, good, get ready for jumping jack. Okay, jumping jack, let's go. Remember the option of low impact if you need it. You're in control of the speed here. You can go nice and slow or faster. Two, one, and rest. Breathe, recover. Get ready for the side shuffle. In three, two, one, let's go. Keep pushing. Five, four, three. Good, well done. Rest, recover, and get ready for hops. Here we go, hops. Low impact if needed, go back to marching. Otherwise, nice and soft, springy, building strength in the lower body, keeping the heart rate up. Five, 
five, four, three. Well done, good work. Breathe, rest, you're doing awesome. Stay with me now for the squat punch. And if you wanna do something a little bit different, instead of punching forwards, you can do a hook instead. So squat, hook, let's go. If you don't like it, you can go back to the standard punch if needed, or play around. <sighs> Keep breathing, 10 seconds. Awesome, rest. Final exercise for round two, and that is the walkout jump. You have the option of not jumping at the top, you can just stand up, maybe stand up and reach, and make sure that walkout is good, you're building strength in the shoulders and the core. Push away from the floor, get ready, in one. Let's go, bend, reach to the ground, walk it out, engage, and walk it back. Bend the knees when you need to, jump it up. Ten seconds. Well done. Rest there. Two sets complete. Have a drink if you need, otherwise take deep breaths and get ready for round three. One more time. Get ready for jogging on the spot. Here we go, round three. Option if needed to marching. Here we go. You're doing great. We're in third and final round of these six exercises. See how much you can push yourself in those 40 seconds if you feel like doing so. And rest, good. Get ready for jumping jacks. In three, two, one. Let's go. Low impact option, if needed. Keep going, 10 seconds now. Three, two, one. Good, get ready for side shuffle. We're doing awesome. Stay with it for this final round with a two minute finisher at the end. Get ready for side shuffle. Let's go. Showing you the option here, if needed, in a tighter space, just one step to the side. 12 seconds left. Whew. 
Good. Awesome. Let's take it to the hops. Breathe. And here we go, into hops. Building good strength in this workout in the toes, ankles, calves. So this is especially good if you play sports or you're a runner. This is a very good workout to keep on your list. Already almost there. Five. Yes, awesome work. We have two exercises left. Let's take it to the squat punch. So we've done the jab and the hook. How about doing two of each? So squat punch and the hook. And then back to the beginning. Give it a go and we're in. Keep it going, 15 seconds. Well done. All right, final exercise into the walkout jump. Take nice deep breaths, get ready for the final time. Oh, I'm sweating now. Hopefully you're sweating too. Let's go, walk it out. Plank, walk it back and jump. Ten seconds to finish round three. <laughs> well done, awesome work. Take your normal 20 seconds rest and we go for two new exercises, okay? Let's take it to the squat punch with a jumping jack combo. So we're gonna go for four reps, jumping jack, and then four squat punches to each side and then repeat. So let's go, in your own time. One, two, three, four, and squat. One, two, three, four. I'll leave it up to you, your timing, your count, or try and copy me. Same timing, 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. Four, three, two, one, rest. One exercise to go. We're gonna take it to the half burpee. We've done a walkout, so you can go back to that if needed. Otherwise, the half burpee, hands go down, jump, back to plank, or step back to plank, jump, or step back in, stand up, or jump up. Lots of options for you. 40 seconds, give it everything. Let's go, half burpee. Remember, all the options, depending on your level and your ability today, jump versions or walking versions. Halfway. <laughs> Keep going, 10 seconds to the end of the workout. Three. Two, one, 
Yes. Awesome work, well done. Breathe, recover, rest. That is the end of the main circuit and the finisher. But stay with me, don't leave yet. It's very important that we work on our cool down, recovery and flexibility. So let's take the timer back to 45 seconds on six different stretches. So come and join me on the floor. Oh, focus on your breathing. And let's take it into a figure four glute stretch. One ankle over the other knee, reach through the gap. And pull that leg in. Feel the stretch in your hips. Those glute muscles in your bum. Looking to get a stretch there. Whilst we're here, go for some nice deep breaths. Okay, grab the same leg that's on top and take it into a quad stretch, lay on your side and hold that leg into a nice quad stretch, lengthening through the front of the thigh. Be nice and gentle and ease the hips forwards. Still focusing on that breath work and see if you can get your breathing back to nasal only as quickly as you can. Switching on the parasympathetic nervous system, which tells our body it is time to rest and digest and recover. After a workout like that, it's important to signal the body that it is time to rest. Well done, let's go back to the figure four glute stretch on the other side. So other leg comes up, reach through the gap, and pull that leg in. It's completely fine if one side ends up feeling tighter or different in any way. It's important to do your daily stretches to try and rebalance the body. It's a great time to stretch at the end of a workout like this when the muscles are so warm. Okay, and lay on your side into the quad stretch on the other side. And again, just easing the hips forwards, opening up the chest and shoulders as well. And whilst you're there, give this video a thumbs up and a like if you have your phone close to you. And whenever you're ready, you can comment underneath, let me know how the workout went. And if you have any other suggestions for workouts, I'm always taking your comments on board. Okay, let's take it to a straddle sit stretch. Come back up, open the legs, however wide feels good for you. Lengthen the legs. Ah, sitting up nice and tall in the spine. This Position might feel good for you as it does for me and my groin and hamstrings, but if you're super flexible, you can lean forwards over those legs, but keep the length in the spine as you do so. This is a great stretch for those adductors and hamstrings. Last couple of stretches and then we'll be done. Okay, final stretch into a child's pose. Come back to all fours, open the knees out wide, toes towards each other, and sit back onto your heels, reaching the fingers forwards, dropping the chest, dropping the head, lengthen through the spine. You can rest on your elbows and forearms if you like. And for these final few seconds, just give in to the floor. Appreciate that you took this time to work on your body, 
your health, your mind, Okay, and come out of that position. That was an awesome 30 minutes. I'm so happy I spent it with you and you spent it with me. Thank you so much. And like I said at the beginning, if you need more of my help in workouts like this and many others, then make sure you download my app and join my community there. All right, thank you so much. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.